Is really all of them? I swear there's like usually a hundred more. By the way, if you use this runic attack while you have uh, that the siphon, you can spread that that uh, element to all the other enemies. Sorry, it took me a second to like realize what I was trying to tell you guys. <laughs> It's actually a really good move. Something I, I just realized a little bit ago. What a dick. Look at that health. That didn't hit me. Oh, thank God for that. The spear is easily the best weapon in the game. Alright, so normally these things are like a walk in the park, but since they have all those little tiny wretches around them, it can get a little bit harder. Hopefully we can poison him. We want to get her out of here as fast as possible. Oh, we got it. Nice. You guys see how much rage I just got off of that? Because I activated my immolation charge and executed him. It's crazy. Sir, you need to stop. Ugh. You see, I didn't get as much as I did when the immolation charge was activated. It's crazy. I talked about that in my tip video. You know, activating your immolation charge can give you so much rage just by hitting enemies, but you get some of those executions off. It's crazy. Alright, so I have, or I sort of have a strap for this dragger. I mean, you can use this strat for pretty much anything, I guess. But our goal is to keep it immobilized for literally as long as we can. Mobilized. Pay attention to that yellow circle on top that will tell us when he's about to get unstunned. Woo! Was it even close? Let's go. Right, that dragger can be a little scary. <laughs> Anytime you see a red health bar, you should be a little intimidated. This is where the enemies are going to get a little bit harder. 
So we gotta be careful. Give me that rage. Where are they at? This guy is red, we gotta get rid of him. Is he gone? I'm messing up so much. It's not that I'm messing up. It's not doing the things that are probably the most effective. I gotta get rid of somebody. use my own triangle here because I want to get some rage build up that was close. See, I was expecting him to... Woo! I pressed L1, but I didn't parry it. because. So because I didn't parry it, I ended up dying. That's one of the uh, the burdens I have on. So you have to perfect parry. I don't know if any of you guys ever played Sekiro, but that's kind of what it reminds me of if you do the... Uh, was it the Charmless run? You know, it's like uh, as difficult as Sekiro can be there's even harder challenges you could, could do. And uh, don't get me wrong, Sekiro is amazing and I love it. But the combat between these two games, two totally different things. I enjoy both. But this, uh, in, my, in my eyes, is just way more chaotic. Like, so much is going on all at one time. I'm scared to parry right now. I just let him power up. I'm snoozing right now. <laughs> this is not the best gameplay. He's dead. Oh, that was so bad. I'm going to let this guy have the chance to stand up. Nice. 